Hello Bushinessos Le Familia, welcome back to another series. This video or this series is a two-part series, mainly because there's only two versions of this that I could really think of, and that is scalp massages. Now scalp massages broke the internet for the natural hair community, mostly the inversion method. Now, I am an inversion method head massage girl i am like i said before i am a product junkie and i am an oil girl so i do believe i know i've seen results right but this is not for you this is not me telling you that this works i want you to try it out for yourself so what is the inversion method so the inversion method simply putting is just putting your head upside down and letting the blood run to your scalp with that blood running to your scalp it boosts the oxygen and the nutrients that the blood creates on your scalp also helping with their production of the sebum on your oil sebum on your scalp right so when the oxygen and the nutrients all runs to your scalp remember okay let me put this in simple terms we need blood for us just to function so our scalps get the least amount of blood because the scalp is like the highest part of your body so that gives the least amount of blood to the scalp meaning the least amount of oxygen meaning the least amount of nutrients to the scalp so that inversion method is i'm not trying to convince you but just think about it when you do that and your blood runs to your scalp you're boosting all this so that nutrients and that oxygen and that that you never not never you barely because that's the last place that your blood goes your blood's going to go to oxygen to your organs it's going to go to the rest of your body the most important parts that need the the blood right when you do the inversion method and you're boosting that that boosts hair growth and also helps your hair grow faster I'm, i won't necessarily necessarily say it helps your hair grow faster and but though my body may crave the foods i've set aside my spirit feasts on the fullness of what you offer i'm satisfied by your love in a way i never knew possible today's scripture Find your delight and true pleasure in Yahweh, and He will give you what you desire the most. Psalm 37, verse 4. But think about it. Like, the more blood that, that goes to your scalp, the more follicles are stimulated, the more hair growth, right? This is actually this is going to be quite a short video. Actually, it's going to be the shortest of my videos. I can't believe it. But it will be because it's actually quite simple. First thing you're going to do is, if you want to try this out, Try it out. I promise you it's going to work. Just try it out. You're going to, first of all, first thing you're going to need is oil. Whatever oil that you normally use, I would say jojoba oil or Jamaican black castor oil because top two, but there ain't two. <laughs> Oils, you're going to need the oil, right? I almost got excited for a second there. You're going to warm that oil, put it on your fingertips and put it all over your scalp. Then you're going to lay on the bed or you can even do it as you're sitting up. I don't want to go into the mic too much but you're gonna look down like that right so you kind of want your head to be lower than where your heart is so try and move forward and look down or to be more comfortable just lay on the bed put on the edge of the bed and put your head upside down then you're gonna let that blood run to your scalp you're gonna feel the tingling feeling all right and then you're gonna start massaging your scalp with that warm oil it's suggested that you do it two to three two to five minutes because it gives it time for that blood to run to your scalp and you're going to start massaging it in. Now, I have spoken about this in my scalp care routine. I, oh, scalp care series. I don't use my fingers because, number one, the blood, oh, not, not because I'm lazy, but because the blood also runs to my fingers because everything is upside down and then my fingers get tingly and my arms get numb. So, I don't do that. Head massager. I got this. And oh, it works like a charm. So I'm really gonna let you listen quickly. I hope you can hear that. This is a it vibrates like an inbox on a and then it's got like three speeds. So it's got the the far the longest one, and then it's got this one, and then it's got this one. So you get the picture heaven oh it feels oh, oh so heavenly on your scalp like it really you will never want to miss a head massage with that thing i promise you it really oh it's the best ever so i am definitely inversion method girl 
I am definitely a head massage girl. Hin hin nudge nudge. There's a second version of this head massages. I'm definitely that girl. I just haven't been doing it now because we. If you are following me on my, I lost six inches of hair, and we're starting the natural hair journey from over, and we're putting everything that we've been learning to the side and doing one thing at a time because I was doing too much. I decided I'm gonna stop everything and start from scratch, right? So the first month we, you know, protect the styles. I did say half cornrows, half mini braids, but I am a mini braid girly. And when I found another stylist, I had I've been through it that video out and then you can check out why we're starting our journey from all that why we're starting what we're doing with our nexus every month i'm adding a little some some the first month was just a protective style not doing too much washing my hair on my regular routine not doing anything and then with the first month i lost somebody there was some breakage minor breakage but there was breakage because of my takedown i figured that out so that's why i want us to start from scratch and then from there, learn what your actual growth rate is. And then from there, we can add on things, right? Month two was a great month. I recruited my mom and my niece to take down my braids and no breakage. I think on the one side, I think this side actually, not that I have breakage. I think it just grows slower because there was growth, but it wasn't as much as the other sides. I don't know. We'll see next month again. Yes. Recruited. Second month, great results. Now, after we've discovered scalp care, I don't have scalp issues, so that was just mostly for information purposes. Now we're moving on to the second part of the journey is head massages. Try this inversion method, guys. Try it out. This one's gonna be pretty easy, pretty quick. Put your head upside down, heat the oil, put it on your scalp, massage for two to five minutes. It's so recommended that you do it every second day. Well, they say every second day, I used to do it every single day, but I can understand why every second day, because if you're going to do that too much, your brain, your brain, your, your scalp is just going to need that and it's just going to reach a plateau. Maybe every second day would work. I think, okay, so let's do this. For this month, the month of November, I think I'm going to do the inversion method every second day and then see the results and then the next month, the next two months, we're going to do this, right? But this month, I'm going to do it every second day. And then next month, I'll do it every single day to see if there's a difference. And then the month after that, which is part two, we're going to talk about the Indian head massages. Now, part two, I'm excited for. So, turn on that post notifications, girls. We got information that works. Like a little hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I've said it before, I'm an oil girly, I'm all into the eyebrow veda. So Indian head massages, chef's kiss with this. Oh, like I used to do it when I discovered the Indian head massage. Okay, let me not spoil it. But when I discovered the Indian head massages, oof, oh, it was heaven. But I stopped doing it because I was on a whole one year mini braid journey where i was trying out different hair growth products to see what works to grow my hair and i did it the wrong way because i was doing way too much too quickly so there wasn't much results so when we do that again maybe it'll be next year maybe it'll still be no it'll be next year because we're in the month of october so next year then we're going to do it for a longer period and then we'll get actual results but for now okay we're just doing Okay, we're doing a step by step. Okay, we're not worrying about chasing all that hair growth, facades and fads and everything that just broke the internet for the national community. We're starting off with the basics. So we're not spending any dollars. You might want to spend a dollar on that head massage because she works. But <laughs> yeah, just try it out and then come back and tell me what your results were. Like comment down below or if you have tried it. Let the girlies know what results you've gotten. Or if it didn't work for you, then we can little we'll chime in and we'll give you little tips. And we'll take it from there. So if you're starting your journey from over, this is the channel for you. But if you are just looking for information about natural hair or if you're stuck up with a few things, I got a playlist for you over here where we start from the beginning. We started with the porosity of your hair and how to look at look for that porosity so that you could better guide you to healthier hair because we're not just putting any products on our hair i am a product junkie but i'm a product junkie for low porosity hair. that's the porosity i have so i started we started off with the porosity and then i did a little video on 
protective styles and why protective styles aren't working out for you here. But we skipped that one and then we went on to scalp care. So the reason why I started scalp care because I think that is, first of all, it was a recommendation from someone that requested a, requesting a video. I'm going to put a name over here. And I went down the rabbit hole. So we started on scalp care. What your scalp needs, the natural sebum that you need for, moisture, for moisturizing your hair, why your scalp is the most important part of your hair care journey because your hair grows from here right so whatever comes out of here needs to be healthy we spoke about all different kinds of conditions that you ha may have as well as product recommendations and ingredients to look out for and we'll take it from there so i'll see you in my next one bye